I love Glasgow. It's my hometown. It's a beautiful city. Loads of history, culture, you know. But the thing about Glasgow, it's got heart. Like a real living, beating heart. You can almost hear it. I couldn't imagine living anywhere else. The youth at Rangers is more a uh, laid-back atmosphere. It's away from the job centre, the office environment, where the young people come in and they feel like they're, they're more relaxed. It's more like a, a youth loose club kind of a thing for young people between 18 and 24. My name's James, I work for DWP. I'm the work coach based at Rangers Charity. I thoroughly enjoy the role here. I work with a lot of young people and we work with them on an individual basis. I can actually get to know them, their aspirations, and work with them to try and either kickstart jobs or move them on to other employers. So how we can support you, there's a load of different things that we can do and it's very tailored to what you need. It's not a one-size-fits-all. Yeah, that's for the interview. Mm -hmm. Why do you apply for school day? Well, I mean, right now I just need any need job. job. I need a job. Yeah. Is there anything else you need from me? Uh, probably just, I need to get new clothes. I've got nothing for interviews. Can you help with that for interview? Can I sort this out for you? All right. And all you could do is come in on the morning of your interview. Mm -hmm. And we go through stuff to make right. sure you're prepared for it all. Alright? Mm -hmm. First thing he asks is how I'm doing. So that's, that's always good. It lets you know that, that the person cares. So, and James cares for every single one of us. My name's Scott, and I'm just looking for work to, to, to get back in track. So, people come in, motivational talkers come in, people with jobs, kickstart, a lot of vacancies come in. Uh, so, we just sit and apply for jobs. When we first came, no one knew each other, but now we all know each other, so we all get on really well. Sometimes you forget how, how much the help can actually benefit people, you know, and giving people that routine of going into work and helping people become financially stable, it means a lot to anybody, you know. Some of the young people from the Youth Hub have gone on to make target construction. This is Easter House, traditionally one of the highest areas of deprivation in the city, there's quite a lot of housing being demolished, so this is the kind of reinstallation of high quality social housing. Every single one of our young people are recruited within a three mile radius of our sites. There is a huge skill shortage in the UK construction industry right now. We need young people, we need not just hundreds, but we need thousands of young people. What Kickstart allows us is to kind of get young people inspired. So we're going to go up and I'll introduce you to 24 of our Kickstart young people. My name's Eddie. Lost my job during COVID, so this came up. So I thought I'd just give it a shot, and yeah, I've enjoyed it ever since. I then got a call from the job centre that um, I had a few kickstart opportunities that came up, and uh, I, th I just thought this one was really appealing. I managed to get myself in with the kickstart program, so I'm now further and getting closer to a full-time job, which is the main aim here. I'm looking forward to kind of all the courses that you can put us on. It makes me much more employable, whether that's to McTaggart, hopefully, or some, somewhere else. Loving it, loving it. It's right up my street, brilliant. We believe that regeneration is about people as much as the bricks and mortar. All the young people have got the potential to achieve successful careers. Some of our young people have got ADHD, dyslexia, and some have even been in trouble with the police but we believe that the Kickstart opportunity is a real chance for them to start fresh. With the support that we can give them, we believe that every single one of them has the chance of an amazing career.